Basically, you can use FastFile to maximize efficiency and shorten the filing process in just three simple steps since FastFile automates both filing and payment of your tax returns. Let's start off by signing up for a FastFile account. Go to our website at www.fastfile.one.tax Then click Sign Up for Free. Make sure that you are ready with your personal tax information like tax identification number and other personal information. Once you have reached the last part of the sign up process, go to your email inbox and click Confirm to verify that this is your email address. You're good to go. If you already have a fast file account, disregard the sign up process and simply go ahead and log into your account. Once you're done with signing up, you'll land on the home page of FastFile. You are now ready to generate and populate your tax return. In case you need assistance though, on what to do next, click the chat box on the lower right hand corner of your screen and let our great support team guide you through the process. Before you generate a tax return, make sure you have bought credits by clicking the gear icon at the top right of this screen and follow the instructions. Keep in mind that credits are used as a processing fee to generate, populate, and file the return and not to pay tax. As you can see, the form is exactly the same as the EBIR form. The goal of FastFile is to replicate the look and feel of the EBIR platform and also provide you with a lot more functions. Speaking of functions, some fields are already pre-populated or grayed out based on the information that you have provided while setting up your organization. Setting up important information such as your tax type, APC, tax rate, and other relevant information on, under Part 1, Background Information. After populating the remaining fields in the background information, head to Part 4, Computation of Income Tax, and fill out the detail. If you choose the graduated rate with OSD as your tax rate, you need to fill out Part 4A, for graduated income tax rate. But if you've opted for the 8% income tax rate, proceed to Part 4B and the fields for 4A will automatically gray out for you to prevent errors or mistakes. Enter your total sales, revenues, receipts, fees, and other data needed like allowances, discounts, and other operating income if there's any. Notice that the calculations are automatically done and include the 250K exemption. There's no need to worry and look at the tax table as a fast file does that for you. Fields on the right side are for your spouse and are only filled out if you choose to do joint filing. But if you choose single, then they are automatically grayed out. For Part 4C Tax Credit Payment section, this is where you enter your total and prior year's excess credit. A total of your tax payments and creditable withholding tax for the first three quarters and for the fourth quarter and other tax credits or payments. Once all necessary fields are populated, scroll back up to part two, total tax payable, to review the calculation of your total tax payable that the system had done for you, and some penalties if there's any. And you are now ready to file the tax return. Click the preview button to see the preview of your return. Before filing and paying your return, make sure to double check your data and information. You can click the back button to make any correction. Once you're all set, click the file and pay button to send this return and the tax payables to the BIR. Choose from our available payment method and agree on the terms by clicking the boxes below. Proceed with the payment. Both payment and the return will be processed automatically and the confirmation is sent and recorded in your account here on the previous screen.